Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we will show you the basics of working with sheets in Revit and preparing your views for printing. All of the sheets in the project appear in the project browser under the sheets folder. To create a new sheet right click on the folder and click new sheet. Here you need to select the needed title block to use it on the sheet. To load additional title blocks in the project click load. You can also create a sheet without a title block by clicking none. We will use a default title block in this case. Double click to edit the title block family. To create a custom title block go to file, new and select title block. Let's get back to the sheets. By right clicking on the sheet, you can edit both sheet name and number. If the title block contains labels, they are changing to match the proper parameter. When you are creating a new sheet, it applies a new number according to the previous one. To place a view on a sheet, click on a view and drag it. You can also place the needed view from the toolbar. Go to the View tab and click View from the Sheet Composition menu. Here select a view that you want to place, then click Add View to Sheet. Same with adding a title block, just click Title Block from the Sheet Composition menu. By selecting the view, you can change needed properties from the Properties tab. Double-clicking on a view that is placed on a sheet allows you to edit model elements directly from the sheet. One of the most useful tools is a guide grid. To create a guide grid, select it from a sheet composition menu. Click Create New and name the grid. This tool creates a reference grid that helps you to align your views, scale them, and place them aligned to each other on multiple sheets. Click on a grid to edit its boundaries if needed. Let's align the views on multiple sheets. I left the reference queue to align the grid intersection and move the floor plan. Then move to the next sheet and select the needed guide grid from the properties panel to display it. Select another floor plan to place it on a sheet and align the grid intersection with our reference. You can create different guide grids and switch between them. To change the grid spacing set needed dimension in the properties panel. The next thing is that Revit does not allow you to put the same view multiple times on a sheet. To place the same view multiple times you can create a view copy or create a dependent view. To crop unnecessary elements click on the view and check crop region visible. Crop the view and then check the crop view to apply. To print the sheet go to file and print. Here you can select print type and apply needed print settings. Select orientation from the printer properties, define print range. Open the setup menu. Here you can select sheet name and paper sizes and make other visibility adjustments. That's it. Subscribe to our channel to keep learning new things with new vision. Thanks for watching.